All right, Hayes Omega here, and I've got another desktop figure show and tell. It's summer 2020, and uh, and we're doing some swimsuit figure reviews or swimsuit figure show and tell. Um, all right, so this is Rimaru from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. So um, I'll tell you, let me tell you how I got this figure, and uh, you can see the sorry state that the box is in. Uh, I'm probably not going to keep it in the box. It would actually looks like it would actually make a good box figure. Oh, well, we'll take a look at the box closer when, uh, when we get there. But so I got this from a USA Gundam store. Uh, I actually got it on eBay, but um, and uh, I didn't know I was ordering it from USA Gundam store. I guess they have like a store on eBay, and uh, and I got I ordered these three figures from eBay, and I got like a six dollar discount from for them. So. But anyway, I got this for forty-two ninety-nine with free shipping, and uh, it was actually shipped by USA Gundam Store. So um, I've actually been on their website and kind of browsed some of their figures and stuff. So, so now uh, now I'm a customer. So <laughs> okay, that's what I and and uh, also I have the Milam Nava figure. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a link at the end of the video for it. Um, I I just uh, checked it out and it was it was really good. It was a really good price figure. So. All right, here we go. Uh, so yeah, this is a uh, this would be like kind of like a premium price figure is what this would be. Um, it's got like a kind of it's got a kind of nice box, you know, and it looks it's pretty big and uh, it doesn't they're not, it's not too bad, okay. So uh, this is part of the uh, Ichiban Show figure line uh, price figures by uh, Bandai or Bandai Namco right here, okay. And uh, here we got. Uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime right here logo and then a big window about 80% of the front is a window okay and then we got like a little slime drawn in the sand here and there's a slime on top of a cloud and I think this says like summer swimsuit version or something um, interesting thing to note this is probably my the only figure swimsuit figure I have that is a male but then again it's not really a male or female uh, it's, she's a He's a slime. So, <laughs> in a previous life, it was a male. So, hope I didn't spoil the story for anybody. But anyway, um, so let's take a look at the side here. Um, yeah, it is kind of like hard to see through the the plastic. I think the plastic they use is like not very good. well. It's probably because it's all messed up and stuff. Yeah, you can see the um, the delivery uh, where some somewhere along the delivery line, uh, the box got damaged pretty bad. The the box is in really bad shape when I got it so um, but uh, I'm not planning to keep it in the box so it's gonna go with all my other swimsuit figures alright okay so there's about a 80 percent window right there also and this just says there the summer swimsuit version right here and there's kinda like a background with like a cloud and stuff on it and here you kinda got the sky and the beach and then here we got that time as I got reincarnated as a slime down here. Um, there is this is actually uh, uh, distributed by Bluefin here. Okay, um, they're the distributor for uh, Bandai in North America. And then all the stickers here are in English, so I guess this is it. They were intending to sell this in the United States. Okay, uh, it is made out of PVC and ABS. Okay. And here we got this slime logo right here. All right, this side pretty much the same as the other side, just kind of continuation. And then here we have the front again. I would say it'd probably make a good box figure. Yeah, I don't know. I if you could probably prop it up on something because if it's in the plastic, it's going to be kind of hard to see. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the top of the box. You can take a look at how bad the damage is on it. I will not be keeping the box, I guess. It's not a big deal as long as the figure's not messed up. If this was like a, a scale figure that was like a lot of money, then I would probably say something. <laughs> um, and then the bottom is just white here. And the top is just slime, itchy bancho figure, and um, summer swimsuit. All right. Okay. So let's go unbox him. Uh, okay, so before we put the box away, we can take a look at the inside. It's a kind of like a, 
like a watery background is what it is. Like you're inside a pool or something. It's kind of, it's actually kind of cool. But it's kind of, it is kind of weird. Why would you be underneath the water if, you know, the beach is right here? <laughs> you could actually make like a little tunnel effect with that too. That's kind of cool. Okay, there he is, Rimuru. He's like it's like on a water slide or something, uh, riding on top of a like kind of like a slime uh, raft or something. <laughs> I have to say that is one of the coolest bases I've seen in a figure. Uh, I was kind of surprised when I took took him out of the the packaging and uh, and I was like, where is this? The, is that the base? The the slime? It just comes out as all one figure, you know. Um, the base and the and the and the character are, are already on there. They're really, the only thing there's it comes out of two pieces. Just basically the figure with the base, and then the uh, the the water gun. Um, and uh, and I was I was really surprised when I took it out. I was like, is that that's the base? Man, that is so rad. <laughs> I like I like it, man. Now after uh, after taking it out of the box, I I like it even more now. So <laughs> so I'm gonna say okay. All right, so. Uh, all right, so we're gonna do a quick 360, and then I'm gonna take a look, closer look at Rimuru here, and um, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll scrutinize and take a closer look at him in a bit. All right. All right, so cool. I I, I really like this one. All right. Okay, he's making his back. So let's take a closer look at this figure. There's actually there. Now there's a lot of interesting things about this figure. Um, okay, let's start at the base. So the base. This has got to be like one of the coolest bases I've had. Um, I've had some pretty funky bases before, but this one is uh, this one is pretty pretty funky. <laughs> pretty cool. I like it. Uh, so it's a slime. Okay, as just in case you guys haven't noticed. It's like Rimuru is riding on top of Rimuru. Maybe he like, you know, he made a little slime duplicate of himself and he's using it as like a water slide raft or something. <laughs> That's the story right there. Okay. It's a kind of like a shiny kind of color. It's, it's got, I would say, I think the, what makes it blue is behind the plastic because the top looks clear. It looks clear and glossy. But the, the inside of it is kind of like that baby blue slime color. And you can see this is kind of like where they put it together right here. There's a seam line right here. That doesn't look too good, but this one too. It looks like this came in like four pieces. There's like a front piece, a back piece, um, and another back, like a tail piece here. Yeah. Yeah, so it's got like a front piece, a back piece, a tail piece, and then there's the top part that he's sitting on. Um, it's a pretty cool base. It's kind of like an intricate design. I wonder how they put it together. I'm, I'm thinking they just put the the two halves together and they glued it, and they put the tail on, and then then, then there's this part where he sits on there. Uh, I'm not even really sure how Rimuru is on there, man. I think they just glued him on there. I don't know if there's any kind of pegs or anything, but it looks pretty good, man. It's like I don't really see any glue anywhere. This this is actually a really good. Well, at least mine, at least the one that I got, is a really good price figure. Um, I'm actually more impressed with this than I was with the with the Millum one. So, all right. So uh, so yeah. So there's a slime. It's kind of like he's kind of kind of got this kind of angry face slime on it, or just kind of squinting, and and then like uh, it's kind of like they're going they're moving in like a downward or forward motion, you know, and then you can see that some of the slime is like trailing off back here. So pretty cool um, yes other than so the stuff to scrutinize yeah we got some pretty big mold lines and stuff and like you know assembly marks like where everything comes together yeah it's not the nicest looking but it's like I said it's a really cool base yeah I'll I won't ding them too much <laughs> um, and the back is just kind of like a transparent like it's clear 
and it kind of turns into blue there's like a gradient that's pretty that's a pretty cool effect right there i like that um and then here in the back you can see lots of glue oh look at this there's like some white spots back here pretty bad um just don't look at the back of the figure and i think <laughs> i think you'll be all right um you will probably never notice that if you just look at it like 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 this <laughs> okay yeah but the base is pretty cool i like it um yeah it does look if you look at it up close it looks kind of cheap looking but the base is like a figure the figure itself you know it's like a two for one figure you get the slime and then you get the remove okay so let's go take a look at the actual character figure so let's start at the feet all right so he's actually wearing a, a sandals or slippers they're slippers and it's got an actual kind of texturing underneath and it's yellow it looks really good it looks realistic i was gonna say here the strap is kind of like uh, it's kind of like this earth colored strap pretty cool and it has like the two little the three kind of dots here that hold the the strap in really nice Really nice the molding the molding is really good on this figure i'm really surprised how good it is um but like the legs the molding on the legs is really good it, it looks like a real leg like yeah it's supposed to be kind of sharp here and stuff you know and a little bit flat here it looks better than the millum figure the molding i'll give it that uh, now it's still got the same problem of the millum figure it's uh the, the skin just looks like plastic man it's plasticky the skins it's like plasticky and it's shiny and stuff i mean i guess he's a slime you know but <laughs> i don't know dude it doesn't look like real skin man doesn't make me want to touch it type of thing you know like his kneecap is like it's so shiny right here um also compared to the melon figure this figure doesn't have a lot of shading in it um there is some shading like on the armpits yeah, like you can see some shading in the armpits but that's pretty much it there's really not too much shading um and he's got he's wearing a lot more clothes than Melum too so um so he's wearing some kind of swim trunks and stuff and I don't, I don't really know what this is this yellow thing he's wearing here um is it like a sweater or something or i don't i don't i have, I have no idea what that is it does look like kind of like a sweater or something why would you wear a sweater in the or it's some kind of cloth <laughs> uh, but the cool thing i thought about this this figure was the shirt. The shirt is pretty cool. He's, it's kind of one of these, you know, sleeveless type of shirts. And you can kind of like see under it and stuff. You know, you can see a mold line right there on his, on the side there. It's not very nice. You can see his, you can actually see his chest right there a little bit. And then here you can see like, it's kind of like, a, this is how they constructed it, I guess. Like they, this is where they, it kind of comes together and stuff right here. Um, but it looks really cool. It's really nice. Oh, there's a there's a kind of like a scratch back here on his back. So we're kind of scrutinizing and looking looking up close at the same time. It's kind of like a navy blue color. Yeah, I like to say it's like a navy blue color. And then there's like kind of like a kind of yellowish kind of trim there. It actually looks pretty cool. I like it. Even the shorts. Like you can see, in, you can look into the shorts a little bit. That's good attention to detail on this figure, man. I'm, I'm quite impressed with it. <laughs> I'm, I'm even more impressed. But okay, I'm not gonna lie though. The Millum swimsuit was, her swimsuit was really nice. That was the nicest thing about that figure, the swimsuit. This one, eh, you know, the color on the swimsuit is not, not all that, you know. Yeah, and it's like it's got scratches and stuff on it, and some molding marks, and uh, there is some kind of shading. It looks like it gets kind of lighter on the straps and stuff yeah yeah but it looks really cool like it kind of the way it's kind of kind of fluttering and stuff i like it <sighs> all right uh so so we talked about the legs the shorts the top uh we can talk about the arms next it's all skin and it looks kind of plasticky it's actually you know from a distance it's not too bad though um, if you don't shine too much light on it, then then you wouldn't think it's so plasticky is what I'm thinking. And a little bit of shading right here at the joint. Very nice. No no kind of finger paint, fingernail paint at all. He's got colorless fingernails, <laughs> I guess. Um, yeah, and then, then there's the face. I, the face is okay. His really smiley, happy mouth. And um, the eyes are on there nicely. 
and uh, I don't really see any problems with the face you know just like the melon one the face is pretty good you can see some ears right here the ear looks pretty good too it's kind of whitish the other is like kind of like a skin tone and then there's the hair the hair uh, I don't know what to say about the hair the hair is just kind of it kind of it's kind of different colors it's like a baby blue color and then like at the tips it's it becomes like a kind of darker blue and it becomes translucent and it's kind of yeah kind of when you look at the bottom of it it's kind of kind of transparent a little bit it's actually kind of cool when I think about it <laughs> it looks cooler than the Millen one though so um, it's just kind of weird the mold line the mold line that separates the front and the back of the hair it look doesn't look very good it kind of yucky looking it's kind of it's kind of like they glued it you know and you can see the glue you know eating through the paint type of thing um, not a lot of care went into that you know but uh but it does look kind of cool it's kind of a cool effect though how it becomes kind of translucent and stuff um, and like the molding is actually pretty good on the hair too I don't really see any mold lines or you know well, right here. Right around here, there's some kind of jaggies right here. The hair on the paint is okay. Everything on the figure is okay. Alright, and then there, the last part of the figure is the gun. The water gun. So, it's pretty cool. Kind of this super soaker looking thing. He's holding it pretty... It You know, it fits the hand like really well. Really, really well. It's got this kind of transparent kind of two beer for the water and stuff uh, one thing I gotta ding him for is the barrel on the on the water gun it's crooked <laughs> it's, it's kinda pointing like this away it's kinda pointing like that away you can see it kinda drooping so I could probably heat that up or just just bend it straight you know it it might break off that one be careful <laughs> Yeah. okay there we go it's a little straighter now so so yeah it must be it must have been in the package in like some weird way Okay, so that's uh, that is the show and tell for the Rimaru summer swimsuit version from uh, Ichiban show. Uh, it's an Ichiban show figure from uh, Bandai. Kind of, kind of Ben Presto. I don't think it's part of Ben Presto's line, I guess. But uh, it's I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. It's it's actually really good. I really liked it. Um, this is also one of my. I think this is my only male swimsuit figure. So. <laughs> so it's an interesting thing, but but like like I said, there's really he's not a male or female. It's like he's kind of like an in between, you know, <laughs> type of thing. But he was a male in his previous life. So, um, yeah, yeah. The the base is actually really cool. The ba the base is like the thing that stands out the most. But you know, the the swimsuit is actually pretty cool. Um, that you can see kind of see like around it and stuff, and um, and yeah. And he's kind of like in motion. He's like moving down a, a water slide or something. So, and uh, he's really he's put together well too. You can, I can't really see any glue anywhere. You know, there's not too much glue. The sandals are really detailed. You can see them too because his like his legs are up in there. Um, and I can't really see how they have him on the base. You know, I think I'm pretty sure they just glued it, or maybe there's a peg there or something. But um, I'm not gonna take him off. <laughs> so, um, that's how it comes. So. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm actually really, uh, I'm really pleasantly surprised how nice this figure is. Um, and uh, it's got a cool base. It's definitely got the coolest. Uh, well, you know what? I have a Gans, I have a Gans uh, swimsuit figure, and uh, of Reka, and uh, she's on the Gans ball. So that's this kind of ties for that one. <laughs> I'll, say, I'll say that it kind of ties for interesting base, interesting swims swimsuit figure base. All right, so yeah, I'll, I'll put a link at the end of the video for the the Millen figure if you guys want to check that out. Um, thanks for watching. I will get some uh, 360s and close-ups, and that's the end of the show and tell. Thanks for watching.